Just devastating. And we also have hurricanes here back at home. We had Tropical Storm Gordon. Luckily that has dissipated and but it's still going to have impacts as far as rainfall, Missouri, Arkansas, even as north as Illinois. So wow. we're definitely wow. going to have to keep an eye on that. But we have another system I wanted to talk about as well, and that is Florence. This has been upgraded to a category four hurricane sustained winds. Everyone of 130 miles per hour. You can really see that well defined eye moving in that counterclockwise circulation. This is moving to the northwest at 13 miles per hour. Now as we take a look at that track, it is going to lose some strength as it moves this way, but it could re-strengthen as it moves towards the coast. Now, of course, this isn't likely to impact the East Coast until later next week. This is still 2000 miles away, but it is definitely a system that we want to keep an eye out. Now, closer to home, we have those isolated and scattered showers of our own moving to the northeast around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now, here in Tucson, you may be hearing that thunder because this is starting to move into the metro area. Now, now, over the next few hours, you could pick up some light rainfall. You could pick up those isolated showers as well. So definitely could see that heavy rain at the moment. You're going to have to keep an eye on this, but definitely that moisture is moving in. Now, the majority of it is going to stay well to the south and east, but there is this flood advisory in effect west of three points. You can see those plus marks that indicates heavy thunderstorms. So just be prepared if you are out there and on the roads. We have, we have this dry air that is starting to move in. That's going to limit our thunderstorm activity as we head into the weekend, and that's because of high pressure off of the California coast that will dry us out, but it will also heat things up near triple digits in the forecast tomorrow. 98 degrees, upper 60s in the mountains, low 90s in Santa Cruz County, upper 80s in Cochise County. We'll leave a 10% chance for rain tomorrow, but a higher chance for rain south and east of our area, and even a higher chance in the higher terrain at a 30% chance for storms. Now tonight we'll dip into those 70s for for nighttime lows, but we'll be up into those upper 90s for daytime highs. Santa Cruz and Cochise counties, upper 80s for daytime highs and a 20% chance for storm development. Here's a look at the seven day forecast 98 degrees and a 10% chance for rain for your Thursday. Then we start to dry out as that high pressure moves inland, moves towards our area, and then by Sunday, triple digits are back. <laughs> They just don't want to. They don't want to leave. But leave. keep in mind, this is only three degrees above the average, so we always forget how hot September really is here in Tucson. Because this time of year, we start wishing for the cooler yes, temperatures. Yes, exactly. Been too exactly. long. <laughs> All right, Stephanie. Thank you.